that very first Moonbase commander was actually Franco Desica? Desica? Franco Desica? Yeah. So he was in charge when the camera started rolling on the first episode of UFO. Yes. Uh, it's actor Franco De Rosa. Uh huh. Right. Played him and had previously been cast in Doppelganger as Eurosex public relations manager oh. Paolo Landi. Right. But he only appears briefly in the final film, although he was billed sixth in the credits. Right. Ahead of Ed Bishop and George Sewell, would you believe? Oh, I've got a story um, about that. Yes, go on. So there was an entire subplot involving Landy having an affair with uh, Glenn Ross's wife, Sharon. He was the astronaut in, oh, yeah. in Doppelganger, which ends with Ross finding them in bed together and throwing them both in the swimming pool. But it was cut oh. from the film <laughs> uh, due to length. Well, it would have been a fun day's filming, though, wouldn't it? It probably would have been, yes. Yeah. But it wasn't cut just because of length. Dad didn't like him. So that didn't help. Oh. There's a bit of a theme there with John Tracy <laughs> being relegated to Thunderbird 5. Yes. Anyways, when production began on UFO, Landy was hired to play one of the four main characters. And that character was Moonbase Commander Franco De Sica. Okay. Uh, although, allegedly, he was hired because Sylvia thought he was rather handsome. Oh, well, that's why I'm doing the podcast. That's exactly why I advised you to do this all yeah. those podcasts. Again. You're still here, Richard. <laughs> uh, problem was, though, that uh, poor old Franco wasn't a very good actor. Ah. He wasn't professional, and his performance varied so much from take to take that it was impossible to work with him. Right. Now, there are varying reports as to how long he was around for. Some say a day, others say a week. Yes. But very soon, everybody was thoroughly fed up with him, and Dad later recalled saying to him, If I were you, I, uh, I wouldn't bother coming in tomorrow. Oh, my. Wow. <laughs> so... Uh, now the they had a moon no base. actor ever wants to hear, really. No, exactly. <laughs> but by doing that, they had a moon base, but with no commander. Ah. And someone who had impressed Dad and Sylvia with her professionalism throughout yeah. was Gabrielle Drake. Yes. So that was the short-term solution, was by putting Lieutenant, or I should say Lieutenant, Ellis, in the commander's chair for the first three episodes, and giving her DeRosa's dialogue. Well, 